This is the story about a small local design studio and two charming women behind it, Lucien from Saudi Arabia and Sara from UAE. Um, I come from Saudi, uh, Jeddah, originally from Medina. <laughs> And I came to, I grew, I grew up in Kuwait actually for most of my life and then I came to here um, for university. So I studied in AUS, American University of Sharjah, Visual Communications. And I've done a lot of design work after graduating and eventually it led me to this. Sarah is an old friend of mine and we just thought it was the right time to start a design studio. I started designing my own uh, agendas and organizers. Uh, while doing that, a creative agency in Dubai called Expose they approached me and offered me to work with them as a freelancer. Um, I accepted the offer and uh, I would say that that uh, period of time was a turning point for me. Uh, the girls were like five, six Marathi girls and they were like super creative. Uh, they come up with this idea of having a food truck, which is like the first food truck in Dubai sold. And I helped them create the brand identity of that. Um, I enjoyed working with them and I joined their team like for a full-time job. Uh, after sold like two years, we, they created another uh, uh, brand, which is Parker's. Uh, when it comes to Parker, I created the whole brand identity from A to Z with them. After making sure that Parker's is like all set and they're like opening their ever first branch in Dubai Mall, I decided it's time to move forward, to grow. I didn't want to uh, limit myself to one, it's like they have different brands, but like having, it is kind of like having one client, one, uh, like under one umbrella, there are different brands, but like still dealing with one client. I wanted to, explore more, uh, deal with more people, uh, different mentality, different like creative ideas. Um, the idea of having a design studio been there for a while, I've been talking to me and my partner uh, Lujain about it and it was just the right time and we started uh, two thirds. <laughs> Yeah, we were three actually. Um, a friend of ours decided to go for a job because uh, just it's more uh, stable and for sure, you know. So, and she wants to go for a master, so we were joking, we are like, ah, oh, now we're two thirds. <laughs> and that became our name, <laughs> yeah. I've always enjoyed uh, drawing when I was a little kid. I, I like drawing, I like writing surprisingly I'm so bad at writing now I can't like even express myself in words <laughs> uh, but I enjoyed like writing uh, coloring drawing and uh, my family were like really supportive my mom so a potential in me <laughs> and she took me to all the uh, art competitions or all the art uh, workshops and uh, uh, even in school, she used to go to the art teacher and tell her, like, I want you to uh, teach her even more, push her more. And uh, yeah, I think I, I always knew that I, I wanted to do something with art, uh, design, but I wasn't sure until I got into university. Like, even when I got into university, I was like, okay, I'll try the design department. I don't know if I want fine arts or design, I'll just like try both and see. Um, after graduation, actually, it was a totally different path. Um, I was pregnant when I graduated, and I wanted to um, to do something that's on my own terms, my own time. So I started a magazine with my friend. Uh, it's still going on. It's in Kinukunia called Wetted Magazine. It's an architecture and design magazine. And um, I did this for a while before I took a job. Maybe two years after I had a, I, got, I had my first job. Um, I liked it for a while, but then it got too repetitive, so I quit. And then I joined the design studio for a little while, then I had my second baby. <laughs> and then um, 
it's a, I feel like when I have my baby's motivation to start something, you know, my pregnancy is, is a, like ignites me to start something. So my first pregnancy, I started Wet Ed magazine. And then with the second pregnancy, it just pushed me to start the design studio because I didn't want to leave my baby at home and I wanted my own time. Uh, and if I was to leave, I wanted to leave for something I'm really passionate about. This is also the story about their unique office that changes the way we see a working space. I don't know, it makes you want to work even more. It's like you don't have, you're not sitting on a desk of watching the, the, the time every single minute and waiting for time to pass and go home. Because you just like feel it's, it's your place, it's your home. It's just like it, to sit on the desk, to sit on the floor, and uh, you can notice like we don't have so many tables here. <laughs> uh, we just let the designers to work wherever they want. Me and Sara were very against like moving into a very highly commercial place where all the people are like although although design district is such a like appealing place to be and all of that but we get exposed we will be getting exposed to the same things every other agency gets exposed to every other creative in Dubai really what they get exposed to and over time that means we will be producing the same work because we see the same things so whether we know it or not subconsciously we're inspired by the same things we're having a conversation with these people every day so we don't want that like even if we move we always said we want somewhere far from everyone preferably a house like a one floor house similar to this because this is kind of honest to our vibes with like a basketball outside a boxing you know a bag um, so we wanted a, a chill place that anyone can feel comfortable and welcomed in. We don't want it intimidating and prefer, preferably no elevators. <laughs> yeah. Like when we go for meetings like this, it's like everyone is not happy <laughs> in the elevator. They're like, you know. Once we tried it out for ourselves, we wanted to brand two thirds, of course. Uh, we can't uh, brand uh, so many projects for people and not do it for ourselves. It was so long, so tiring. It's like, no, we have to change the way we do it. Like, let's bring snacks, play some music, uh, bring more colors and like stickers and all of that. Like, let's make it fun. So we enjoy it and the client and that we don't want them to uh, leave uh, the studio, they're drained, and it's like, oh, I don't want to come back again to this uh, place. <laughs> I've never been more proud to be Saudi. I've never been more proud to be a Saudi woman. I feel like Saudi women have been doing so much in the past, regardless of all the restrictions, and now with, the, with like before even the new rules that we can drive and we can um, travel, we can do businesses without like so many uh, hiccups. Um, they already, I feel like they're more accomplished than the male <laughs> uh, counterparts. So now with all of this, it's just like there's a wave, there's an energy. Um, and everyone is very active, everyone wants to have their own business, everyone wants to have their voice heard, uh, they want to contribute to, to the, this uplift in our society, so it's really exciting. I'm so privileged to be like living now in this time and, um, and to see all these great Saudi women. Also Emiratis, I feel like they also are kind of taking the lead um, in, uh, in this, like uh, women in the UAE hold very high ministry positions and they're kind of like also setting role models for uh, Saudi women. So I feel like we're kind of like sisters, Saudi women and Emirati women, we're in the same, uh, <laughs> in the same wave together.